Hey guys, we're Lawson from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on a 2009 Ford Mustang front bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need this bumper for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, for this vehicle, we're gonna start off on the bottom right here. If you guys go to the bottom towards the front, you're gonna see some seven millimeter bolts. So you guys can see it's just lining up right there, down there, and it's just gonna go all the way on the bottom of the uh, bumper. So if you just follow the lower portion of the bumper, you'll see all of those uh, bolts. All right, so it's gonna be a seven millimeter with a ratchet set right there so it's just gonna be all along the bottom right here <clears throat> that actually is not a seven millimeter it looks like a six so let's try a six millimeter okay that's not a six either all right so let's try five hey wait a minute it's not a six or a five Nope. So this one's kind of works. Seven and thirty-two. Oh, let me show you guys. Oh, that's interesting. Seven and thirty-two. So let's try that out. Looks to be gone. So there's like four of them. So it appears to be four of them. And they look like these screws right here. So now we're gonna go to the side of the bumper. All right. So on the side of the bumper right here, you're gonna see, I'm, I'm gonna say it's a seven. Last time I checked, it was a seven. Let me just double check. Yep, that's a seven. All right, so seven down here. So we're gonna turn the wheel. So if you guys look down there, there's going to be two bolts right there. Alright. So the bolts are going to look like this right here. And there's going to be two of them. So do that same thing on the other side. Alright, so once the side bolts are done, I'm going to go ahead and lift up the hood. So right here is going to be some push pins right here. You're going to have to take those off. And those are fairly easy to take off. You just need a flathead screwdriver. There's another one back here. This cover should just come right off. There we go. All right. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight or nine of these. So basically, it's a push pin and it has it's flat like this. And just insert your fly head right in there and lift up and it should come right off. So right here is going to be a bolt and that's going to be size 8 on both sides. Alright. And those bolts look like this right here. 
And now the bumper should be ready to come off. So we're just gonna go to the side of the bumper. So inside the bumper, so gently pull it off like that and do the same thing on the other side. So now on top, you kind of have to lift up the hood a little bit. I mean, not the hood, the bumper off these prongs right here. That. And the bumper should slide down, as you guys can see. And if you just want to kind of step on something, So we gotta push the fender liner out a little bit. So slowly pull it down. And then, since this one has some, uh, I guess some lights right here, you gotta unclip it. Like that, and then slowly put it down a little bit because now you have uh, the fog lights to take off. If you guys look like down there, there's like that wire right there. So that's why you don't pull it all the way down. You have to unclip these. Okay. Then again, you have a secondary one down here that you need to unclip too. Once all those wires are unclipped, slowly pull the fender, uh, the bumper down. I keep saying fender, but now you have the sensor right here that you have to take off. Let me show you guys that. I'm gonna try to pull it up like this. All right, so like that. So you guys can see there's like a, a little clip right there. See that sensor right there? You're gonna go ahead and take that off. A fly head should do it. And just push down on it. There you go. Sensor's off. All right, guys, so there you go. That's how you remove that bumper. And now we're gonna go ahead, take all the accessories and put it back on the new one. All right, guys, here's our brand new bumper right here. It's already painted to color match this vehicle. So if you guys need this bumper for your vehicle, the link is down below. It comes to you guys pre-painted, color match your vehicle, guaranteed to color match your vehicle, and ready for you guys to install with the help of this video. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug up that sensor right there. So we actually just have to kind of put it back into place with those uh, prongs or those little clips and then fog lights right there fog lights right there and then on top we're gonna do the uh I guess those are fog lights also I'm not really sure what those are I think they're just like part of the headlight but let's go ahead and get started so right now I'm just holding it because I do need to get that sensor in place if I can find it, it's right here. Actually, I can just probably clip it underneath. Okay, so we can just leave that right there. And then later on, let me just double check. Yeah, actually, we can just go ahead and uh, 
clip it on like this. There we go. So once that's clipped on, I'm gonna go ahead and clip on the fog light. One right there, another one right here. And you should hear a click to know that that fog light's already in there. Then these top parts right here. All right, there we go. So now we're gonna line up this hole right here All right, so as you guys can see, there's like a square hole right here and it clips onto this one, that's a support. And then this hole right here goes into where the um, bolt will go. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. So I like to hold it in the middle right here. Sometimes I have to give it some help like that. This one goes on top like that, so you should hear that click. One on there. All right. So as you guys can see that fender liner right there, or mud guard right there on the bottom, or maybe it's called a splash shield. It's one of those three. But you go underneath, just make sure the splash guard goes under or over the bumper. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go on one side, put this bumper on. So over that bracket and then right here. Take a look, something's holding it back. That feels good back there. Anything over here? Nope. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on on this side. It's just a little bit tight. So we're gonna work on one side and the other. So go ahead and one thing about this bumper is that it has to go behind. Perfect. I'll do that on the other side too. So actually let me show you guys what I did on this one. So if you guys look back here, see how the fender liner goes behind the bumper? So you gotta make sure it goes behind the bumper or you're gonna have a hard time uh, putting it on. So again, what I'm talking about is like this thing right here has to go behind uh, the bumper itself. Just holding this back.
And if it's done correctly, these bolts should just go into place really easily. I like to, uh, so I like to hand tighten it first so I don't strip the bolts. Sometimes the bottom one gives us a... We gotta take a look at where that clip is. Huh. There it is. There we go. That's done. All right, so now we're gonna put those four screws back on the bottom. Remember the fender liner goes on top or the splash guard goes on top of the bumper. It's hot out here. All right, we got one more underneath here. And then we should be in the clear. All right. All right, so now we're gonna put those bolts back on the side, right there. Then last one on this side right here. Now we can go ahead and put the cover on. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and slide this cover in. Just like so. There you go. Remember those push pin guys? We're gonna go ahead and put those in. And last clip and we're done here. All right guys, so that's how you install a 2009 Ford Mustang front bumper. Thank you guys for watching. And comment down below if you guys have any questions. And we're going to go ahead and answer those for you guys. Thank you.